Hey guys, iOS app lists here with a demonstration slash review of Does Not Commute, which is a brand new uh, game for iPhone and iPad. It was recently named one of Apple's best new games, totally free to download. And as you can see, there's a ton of content in Does Not Commute. It's a really unique game that puts players in the position of having to make sure commuters get to their destination uh, on time. So we'll press start. And you can see at the bottom of the screen, each commuter has their own background story. You also have different power-ups that you can use once you uh, play the game a bit. You'll unlock those power-ups. You control your commuter by pressing left and right on the screen, as you can see. And what's really unique about Does Not Commute is, you can see there, there's our first commuter. So as you help commuters get to their destination, all of your previous commuters are also on the screen, so you have to make sure you don't crash into them or anything. And you can also pick up time tokens that are the glowing brownish, bronzish tokens that add time to your level. You can see it at the top of the screen. Time does count down while you're playing, and if you happen to run out of time, the game is over. So, the ultimate goal is to get all of your commuters where they need to go without running out of time. One of the things I really like about Does Not Commute is it's not hard to play at all. Um, it takes a little bit to get used to as far as making sure you don't crash into other players, but when it comes to playability, you really get lost in it. And even if you don't read about the commuters and their stories, it's still fun to just play and you know, enjoy the game. And one of the cool things that Does Not Commute allows you to do is it allows you to rewind your current vehicle if you happen to get into an accident or anything like that. The penalty is one second off of your time for every time you rewind, but you can always go back and get a, a token or something and uh, increase your time to kind of make up for it. But, as you also noticed, your car does get a lot slower if you get into an accident with it, which ends up hurting your time as well. So we'll go ahead and play to the end of this level anyway. And there are a large, that's a large number of uh, levels that are available, so this is definitely not a game you're going to blast through in an hour or two. And you can see each level flows into the next. So we've reached the second level. And we'll go ahead and get her to where she needs to go. So that's the overall gameplay of Does Not Commute. One of the really cool things is between levels you can go back and see your previous level in a replay. Which is pretty neat if you're bored or just want to watch everything turn into a cluster. <laughs> There's also different camera views that you can use. You can see you have an overhead as well as a side-scrolling camera view. Which is great for seeing your work of art, I suppose. So, Does Not Commute also has a menu function you saw there. And it's totally free to download, but there is an in-app purchase to enable checkpoints. It's a premium upgrade for $1.99. Other than that, there aren't any ads to disable or in-app purchases for coins or power-ups or whatever. Uh, what you see is what you get, and you don't have to spend any money on the app if you don't want to. Again, Does Not Commute is available to download from the App Store for free, and it's universally compatible with iPhone and iPad. As always, if you enjoyed this video, click like, subscribe, and check us out at iosapplists.com.